Hello, and yes, I'm back with another video of regrowing things from the supermarket. I can't help it, especially if they give me the seeds for free. This is the mother, a beautiful orange bell pepper, and this is another mother, a red sweet bell pepper. I chose these two because I love their flavors, and I wanted to see if I could reproduce those flavors by regrowing them. As many of you know, I regrew the orange bell pepper hydroponically two ways, using the crack key method and using an air pump. Both produced a nice bounty of peppers, although the deep water culture method produced larger fruit. But the taste on both of these was not what I had expected. The fruit tasted like unripe green bell peppers, not sweet at all. There were lots of helpful comments and I really appreciate them. This one made me laugh. Sorry you had to learn that living soil is where it's at. How right Vape Ape is. The problem, of course, is my climate. I can't grow outside for most of the year, so growing indoors is my only option. Unless someone builds me a greenhouse with a heater, of course. And here's a comment with lots of information to chew over. And then there were some comments questioning the parentage of my pepper. I'm afraid I don't know who the father is. I plan to experiment some more using the suggestions made in the comments section. Maybe I can get a more pleasant tasting hydroponic pepper. But the summer came and I decided to plant the very same seeds from the very same orange bell pepper in my raised garden bed. And then I decided to plant some seeds from a red sweet bell pepper, also a supermarket pepper. The red bell pepper I planted into these grow bags. When I grew the orange bell peppers hydroponically, it took around 130 days from seed to harvest. These were quicker, they took around 90 days to fully mature, and because I grew them outside, I had a lot more space to grow many more plants. I started both the orange and the red bell pepper seeds indoors, nothing fancy. I just dropped the seeds into cups of seed starting mix. When the weather was warm enough and all danger of frost had passed, I transplanted them outside. That was at the end of May. The orange bell peppers were rehomed into a 4x4 raised garden bed filled with a mixture of peat moss, vermiculite, and compost. Thank you, Mel Bartholomew. Here you can see the orange bell peppers after they were transplanted. I staked them all to give them some support as they grew. The red bell peppers I transplanted into these 7 gallon grow bags. I bought 10 of them from Amazon for less than $20, so at around $2 a container they were a good investment. Let's see how many seasons I can get out of them. I treated both the orange bell pepper plants and the red ones to worm castings and Epsom salt in the planting hole, just as I do for the tomato plants. They are, after all, from the same family. Initially, I had the sweet red pepper plants in grow bags near my jalapeno peppers here on the deck, also in grow bags, which of course was a mistake. It's obviously not a good idea for jalapenos to cross-pollinate with sweet bell peppers. Although it might make for a sweet and spicy pepper, who knows? In any case, I didn't want to find out. So I moved the sweet red bell peppers into the garden area away from the deck where the jalapenos were growing. Here you can see them in my fenced-in garden area, a good distance from my deck, where the deer and the antelope like to play. The pepper plants seemed happy and started growing and producing flowers and then fruit pretty soon after that. And here it is about 60 days later and I'm starting to see fruit. Alright, now it's around 70 days since I planted these and they're starting to turn orange. You can see over here there are some more green ones, so not all of them are starting to turn orange, and not all of them have the same nice bell pepper shape, but they all look good enough to eat. These are the red bell peppers I planted in grow bags, and they're taking a little longer than the ones I planted in the beds. I did plant them about two weeks later than the ones in the bed, but they do look a little further behind than just two weeks. Actually, I shouldn't compare them. They are a different variety of pepper, different mothers for sure, and who knows who the father was. You can see these are starting to put out flowers and some fruit, so we should get a nice harvest from these as well. Now it's around day 80 and some of the orange bell peppers are ready to pick. 
These plants kept producing for another month or so, so in the end we got a nice harvest from the supermarket pepper seeds. How's that for free seeds? The red bell peppers in the grow bags continued to grow as well, though slower than the orange ones in the raised garden bed. We continued to harvest more and more of the orange bell peppers and they tasted sweet and juicy just like their mother. I left them on the vine to keep ripening and a week later you can see they're continuing to ripen but not grow any bigger. I pruned the plants a bit through the season but I did not do the traditional topping of the plants as some people recommend. At around day 90 I started picking the peppers. Some were smaller. All were a beautiful orange color. Not the same shape as the mother, however they all tasted super delicious. There was no comparison in taste to the indoor hydroponic peppers. These were definitely sweeter and had a much better flavor. Here you can see the red bell peppers are starting to ripen, finally. Sometime at the end of August we had a breach in the fenced in area. Something came in and ate most of the leaves on these pepper plants. They left the fruit just stripped off the leaves. I don't think it was the deer, although they had a guilty look about them. But the fence was still up, so it must have been an animal that climbed over or under the fence, and there are plenty of those around. My money is on Peter Rabbit. Sad, it stripped my bean bushes totally and chewed most of the leaves on the pepper plants. For some reason they left the leaves on the tomato plants, but stole the tomatoes. Can you believe that? I found half-eaten green tomatoes left around just to tease me. Well, next year we're going to get an electric wire fence and tease them right back. So what did I learn? Well, these peppers were a lot sweeter than the hydroponic ones. I agree with the comments that I'll have to work on a better hydroponic recipe and see if I can produce sweeter fruit indoors hydroponically. There's so many variables to consider. The lighting, the hydroponic solution, changing out the water. I would much rather grow outdoors and let Mother Nature worry about those variables. The problem is, of course, that our growing season here in Zone 6 is too short. It's mid-October now and we already have nighttime temperatures in the 40s. The first frost will be here soon and it will be back to growing indoors again and experimenting some more. I would love to get a sweet tasting indoor harvest just like Mother Nature gave me out in the garden. Thanks for joining me on this growing adventure and let's keep on learning and growing. Thank you for watching. Bye!